good day to you. I feel the Lord has a, a word. Uh, it's actually three words kind of combined into one uh, because he revealed this over a series of uh, a couple of days. Uh, and, and part of it goes actually back to a word uh, in May. But uh, a couple of mornings ago, I felt the Lord quickened uh, that it's time to break out of containment and confinement that he's coming and has come to break you out of that which has uh, been withheld from you, that which has contained you, that which has confined you from accomplishing the purpose of the Lord, that which the, the Lord has promised, that which you know that you have been created to do, that which the Lord has spoken to you, uh, that you're waiting to step into. There has been a confinement and a containment by the enemy, but the Lord is saying no longer. He is coming to break you out of that confinement. He gave me Micah 2 13. The breaker, who is Jesus, goes up before them. They break out, pass through the gate, and go out by it. So their king goes out before them, and the Lord at their head. So Jesus is coming at your head to lead you out through the gate. The gates will no longer be shut. The breaker has come to break open the gates, to break open the prison doors, to break open the place of confinement. I also heard the Spirit of the Lord say breakout, as in a breakout uh, occurrence, a breakout idea, a breakout uh, 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 situation. In fact, uh, the definition of breakout in this context is suddenly, sudden and extremely popular or successful. A success or accomplishment, especially in comparison to previous efforts. So no longer is the Lord breaking you out of confinement, of this place of containment, uh, but, but he's giving you a breakout idea, uh, a breakout invention, uh, a breakout uh, a position, uh, a breakout situation, uh, a breakout uh, elevation in uh, stature, in ministry, in, uh, in your, your uh, platform. Uh, so there, there's going to be a, a breakout for you. Uh, and then this morning, uh, or actually back in May, May the 10th, I heard the Lord say, breaker, breaker. Uh, those of you, especially in America, who back in the, I think it was in the 70s uh, particularly, uh, were using CB radios. Of course, truckers still use them. Uh, and, and the term is, uh, in trucker lingo, uh, breaker, breaker, one nine. And uh, what I didn't realize until I, I started looking it up a little bit and being reminded of, of what I participated in, and many of you might have uh, years ago when CB radios were so popular, uh, breaker, breaker, uh, is actually asking permission to interrupt on the channel and then the trucker the person who is who is speaking breaker breaker pauses for a response before they continue with what they have have uh, interrupted the conversation previously on that channel. Um, so, so what the Lord quickened was he is coming. This breakout, this breakthrough is actually an interruption in not only in your situation, in your life, in your circumstances, but the Lord is pausing to receive permission. So when, when you see the Spirit of God uh, uh, speaking to you, when you hear Him, uh, when you see that He's attempting to move in a certain situation, or by faith, <clears throat> you're believing that He is moving in your situation, receive by faith that breakthrough. Say, yes, Lord, you may break in to my life. You may break in. You may interrupt what's going on in this situation. I invite you to come. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Spirit of the living God. Break in so that I can break out, so this can be a breakout moment. Uh, and then the Lord this morning uh, was talking about the Ruah of God, the breath, the Spirit of God. And he took me to Isaiah 59, and I'm going to read in Isaiah 59, uh, starting in verse 18. He will repay wrath to his enemies and retribution to his foes according to what they have done. 
Reckoning is coming to the islands for what is due them. From the west to the lands of the rising sun, the glory and the name of Yahweh will be held in highest reverence. For he will break in as a flooding, rushing river, driven on by the breath or the ruah of Yahweh. He will come to Zion as a kinsman, redeemer, to those of Jacob's tribes who repent of their rebellion, says Yahweh. And this is my covenant promise with them, with you. From now on, my Holy Spirit will rest on them and not depart from them. And my prophetic words will fill their mouths and will not depart from them nor from their children, nor from their descendants, from now on and forever, says the Lord God, Yahweh. I want to read again Isaiah. He will break in as a flooding, rushing river, driven by the breath or the ruah of God. So the Lord quickened that an example of this in the natural, and there will be other uh, signs in the natural of the recent flooding river, uh, the historic flood in Yellowstone National Park here in America is an example of what God is doing. It's a sign in the natural of what he's doing in the spirit. Uh, and he said there will be other examples, other historic rushing rivers, rushing flooding situations, uh, not normal, not, not every time it rains, it floods a little bit. No, historic flooding will be a sign of his break in and his breakthrough in your circumstances and in your life. So receive it by faith in Jesus name. Be blessed.